Good morning, everybody. Uh, let's see. It's about 8.30. So I went to bed last night, and I was comfy, warm, cozy. It was heaven. And I got up this morning, and I had not any heat on during the night. And so the first thing I did was turn on my electric fireplace, and it works. And then I went and turned on that other little heater that my son bought me. Everything was good. I came in the kitchen and turned on my little cast iron stove. That was good. So the house is warming up. It's, it's almost 9 o'clock uh, now. So, um... It, it's warming up fine, so I'm I'm happy about that. Yesterday, when I was working on my windows, you know, using that plastic and covering up my windows, I was doing the window that was over that AC slash heat window unit, and that thing is not even a year old. That was bought in the summer. My son got that for me and put it in during the summer. So I haven't used it as a heat source very much. Well, I discovered while I'm standing there putting that plastic up, the heat wasn't working. <laughs> and I had that thing, I turned it on up to 80 and it still was just blowing out cold air. So I don't know that I would even advise anybody to get something like that. I won't ever do it again. This is the second one I've had that didn't last that long. It went out. And they are expensive. So I won't replace that. I'm just going to leave it in the window. For one thing, the, the air part, the air conditioning part on it still works. So I'll use it during the summer. Hopefully it'll last a little longer than the heat part did. But I've already got that plastic all over there and all those staples in there and all that duct tape on there. And I and that thing was not easy to get in because the out the house is up off the ground quite a ways and it's hard to lift that thing up and put it in that window. Plus, you know, doing the sides and the framework and all that. It was a lot of work. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. If my little three electric heaters will get me through the winter, I'll be okay. Cause they're right now they're doing they're doing pretty good. Of course we have sun out here. Like I said, during the winter, you know, it's not always nice and sunny. But I think I'll be okay. I'm better today than I was yesterday as far as mindset. Now yesterday when I discovered that the window unit wasn't heating I, I just I pretty much lost my mind over that. I was feeling very very defeated and I know y'all know what that's like and I thought man it's just every one thing right after another everything breaking down and I did something I've never done before. I'm in a few Facebook sales groups. So I went to one of them and I wrote out this pretty long post. And I said, you know, I, I told them I was 72 and on social security and I'm a widow. And I told them what the trouble was and that my windows, you know, were so cold and, uh, uh, I don't have any insulation in my roof, yada, yada, yada. And I ask for recommendations on some organization or someone who might do discounts on doing this. I didn't say you, somebody come out here and, and pay for this and do it for me. I asked for some kind of recommendations that they had. And I sit there and I looked at that post for a few seconds I hit publish, and the minute I did, I regretted it. The very second I saw that appear on the page, I knew I shouldn't have done that. 
because I have never asked anybody to do anything for me in my life except for my son. I ask him because I trust his judgment. I trust his wisdom to tell me what he thinks is right. So I reached up there and I deleted that post before anybody got an opportunity to read it. It made me ashamed. I was ashamed. It, it, I just, I guess that old pride that gets, gets in our way through life sometimes was creeping up on me and I, I think I'd rather just wrap up in an electric blanket all day long than, than for someone to think that I wanted them to come out and do something for me for nothing. And I was ashamed and I took it off. So, you know, I was thinking about the guy who did this electrical. And there's things I could do. I mean, I've tried to contact him and make things to get to make things right. And he just totally he blocked me from Facebook. He's probably blocked me from my phone because he totally won't answer me. And he's a young man. And I know there are things I could do. Uh, for one thing, I could go on his business Facebook page and leave a review. Uh, for another thing, I could go in these many sales groups I have and leave a scathing review. But y'all, two wrongs don't make a right. I mean, yeah, he's done this to me. And he's cheated me. He's cheated me. And I know it. And he knew it when he was doing it. But is it right for me to go and do harm to him because he did harm for me? No, it is not. Truly, two wrongs do not make a right. And I would not feel, I would feel worse about my own self. And I'm not going to let anybody do that to me. So I'm going to leave it alone. And I'll get through winter. And I'm fine. Today, I'm fine. I'm much better. I'm in a better mental state than I was yesterday. Yesterday, I was just a basket of craziness. I really was. And I thank y'all all for your comments and your sweet suggestions and the kindness that you've shown toward me over this. I really do appreciate it. And, and your prayers, for heaven's sake. Uh, yes, I appreciate all that so much. And I'm going to be okay, and don't worry about me, truly. Man, I've made it to 72, and I have seen a whole lot worse than this come my way. And I know y'all have too, and I know there are those of you out there who are in the same predicament I'm in right now because I've seen your comments. Your house is old. Your house is drafty. You're cold. Your windows are old. You don't have good heat sources either. I've seen your comments. And I know there's that saying that misery loves company. Well, I don't, I don't take comfort in knowing that you suffer. Don't at all. But what it did was make me realize I'm not alone and I'm not the only one this has happened to. And I need to quit whining about it and get on with the business of living and do the best I can, and that's all we can do, isn't it? That's just all we can do. So, today, I'm gonna finish my windows, because after I saw that heat thing wasn't working, I'm like, well, I can't do any more today, that's it. I'm gonna go feel sorry for myself in my recliner the rest of the day. But today, I'm better, I'm mentally better, I'm physically better, I had a good night's sleep, and I'm going to go finish my windows. Hopefully today I've still got three, four of them to do. Do them today. And that one really helped a lot. I did two yesterday. And man, that, that stopped that air from coming in there. Great. So, thanks for listening to me. Thanks for having coffee with me this morning. 
I hope y'all have a great day. And as always, I hope God is good to you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.